um, this book was, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I spoke like Yoda, a sci-fi and fantasy mix this was. Um, hi, I'm Dobby, but you can call me Dobbs. So, <laughs> the hiccups. <laughs> the hiccups. Before I start this book review, um, since it's becoming the end of, the end of, the end of, since it's becoming the end of January, these are the books that I read in January. It's not a lot. I'm probably, I'm going to try and read more in February. Just January was kind of like, I kind of started slacking after I finished the 100 books in 2018 challenge. But um, also part of the reason is because these are all really thick books. So the books that I read in January. Yeah, first I read The Girl Who Drank the Moon by Kelly Barnhill. And I did a book review on this book, so please go check that out. The second book I read was Goodbye Stranger by Rebecca Steed. I didn't do a book review on this book, but I'm, I'm probably gonna do like an author talk where I talk about Rebecca Steed since I've read a lot of books by her. So um, this probably, like I might do that. So this book will probably be in that video. I see so. The third book I read was this book, Artemis Fowl by Eoin e Colfer, which I'm going to be doing a book review right now. And then I'm still working on reading The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. So today I'm reviewing Artemis Fowl by Eoin Colfer. So Artemis Fowl is about a boy called Artemis Fowl. <laughs> and Artemis is a criminal mastermind, a millionaire, and a genius. Now, the twist is he's only 12 years old and he he's a thief, but this time he's going to do something that no one's ever done before, steal from a different species. So Artemis Fowl, he kidnaps Captain Holly Short, which is a fairy, but these fairies aren't typical fairy tale fairies that you hear from bedtime stories. These fairies are dangerous and they become even more dangerous when they hear that their Captain Holly Short is gone. So I really enjoyed this book. It was a sci-fi and fantasy mix. Um, that was like the genre. And it was full of adventure and action. But the only problem with this book was that the beginning of this book was a little boring to me. Like um, I read this book two times before I like finished reading it, that makes sense. I read the beginning like two times um, and then I just like stopped reading. But once you get into the book, once you're like actually reading, it's really fun. It makes you wanna keep reading and it's super fun and adventurous to me. When you think of, when I think of fantasy, the first book that comes to mind is Harry Potter. This book was so much more different fantasy. Um, one of the big reasons being that in the beginning, it sounds like a, like a crime book, um, reading like all that and all. It sounds like a crime book, but then there's a twist. They're, um, they're fairies, and it's more fantasy-like, and I really love that. Another part that I liked about this book is um, that it was, because it was this like crazy thing like fantasy that wouldn't actually exist, it made um, a 12 year old genius sound more like believable because in real life, this probably like wouldn't be a thing, you know? But since there's also fantasy added into this book, it's not a realistic fiction book. It helps that. Um, this book also shows the strong bonds between Artemis and his bodyguard Butler because in this story it says that Butler is the closest thing Artemis has to a father and Artemis is the closest thing Butler has to a friend. And I thought that was so cute. I also loved the bond between Butler and Juliet, his sister. And I feel I felt like the bonds in this book were so cute. They were so strong and I really enjoyed that. Um, lastly, I would recommend this book to people who like sci-fi and fantasy or want to try sci-fi and fantasy but like adventure and action. I think that this book is great. Um, that was not lastly, I have one more thing to add. 
Um, the last thing I want to add is that this cover and this back, like that little fairy, it's so good. Like, I love the illustration. Sometimes I like when books are very simple in their cover, but this one is very, like, complex drawings and stuff, but I still love it. So that'll be the end of my book review. If you like this video, please like this video. And while you're down there, please subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Ah, I forgot about that. So this year, I want to try like different types of book reviews and different content for you guys. But I don't have any ideas. Like, I don't know what to do. That's why like my videos have been like kind of like not that many lately. So if you guys have any ideas, please comment them down below. Um, anything that you want to see in my um, channel, just comment them down below. Yeah.